what is going on everybody i'm back here with another video in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make mac and cheese now this video is meant for kids and this is going to be a family friend friendly video so there will be no swearing and no cussing in this video thank you for listening to what i have to say now before i even start the process I'll, let me show you guys the ingredients here so we got garlic powder and onion powder this is going, I'm going to be making Southern mac and cheese, and you guys are going to be watching. I got the mac and cheese right here. No yellow five or yellow six. No dangerous chemicals like that in this mac and cheese that I'm going to, that I have here that I'm going to be ending up making. We're going to be getting a pinch of salt. I have milk right here. Almond milk. It's all called... Silk almond smooth and seriously creamy milk. The pot that I'm going to be using. And some butter. It is flavor protected wrap. It is salted butter. So I'm only going to be using a pinch of salt because we have salted butter. Usually I put a little more salt in my mac and cheese, but this there's salted butter in here, so... So step number one, fill the pot with water. Got my pot right here. Gonna fill it up with water. So this is a family friendly video, no swearing. To give you guys the warning there, there is going to be no swearing in this video. So I'm gonna leave it like that. While that's going on, I'm going to prepare my other materials. I also, this I'm going to be using to get the water out of the mac and cheese pot so that makes it to where that none of the, the water is in there. So it's almost done filling up the water here. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible so you guys don't have to keep skipping over because there's going to be moments in my videos where I'm just going to be like, it's, it's not going to really be fun to watch, so. This almost filled up, so I'm going to, I'm going to move, I'm going to clean my workspace. I'm going to wash my hands so no cross-contamination will be in this. Going to get this. Wash my hands real quick. Probably should have done this before I started the video, but whatever. I'm gonna shut this off because it's all set now. This is gonna be some Southern mac and cheese that I'm gonna be making. For you people that are 13 years old or younger that are trying to make mac and cheese, this is this is the video to watch, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna end up feel free to feel free to skip ahead here. Unfortunately, a few of the, when I was washing my hands, some droplets of water ended up in the pot, but that's okay. Be and the reason why it's okay is because it ends up burning, so, like the chemicals will get burned and the bacteria or whatever from, from me washing my hands will just get burnt. So it's okay. You just want to make sure your hands are clean and no, no cross-contamination. You guys should be okay. So I'm going to end up getting the pot out here. I'm going to put it on the stove and I'm going to move the camera in a second. Guys, this is a very important video. If, 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 this is family friendly. So, that should just about, I wanna make it to where I can get myself in the camera in this, hold on, hold on. Feel free to skip through this. Feel free to skip through this. So I'm gonna turn the stove on light. And it's gonna, I'm gonna put it on high, the highest temperature. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want it to cook faster. So that is why. So that it, it'll boil faster. So that will make it to where I can have hot water to start the process of the mac and cheese. Now, if we look right here. Mm, let me see. I have the direction. It has it right here. It says here, boil six cups of water in medium saucepan. I did that. Stir in pasta, cook seven to nine minutes, or until pasta is tender, stirring occasionally. So we're gonna do this to seven to nine minutes. Drain, do not rinse, blah, blah, blah. 
tablespoons of butter, milk. It tells you to do all this in the package. I'm just doing it my own way, so that's why I'm just reading that to you. To, this video is educational. This is an educational video. This is nothing to do with the other stuff I do. And this is going to be the only video on my channel, one of the only videos on my channel that do not cuss or swear. So this is a family friendly video. I suggest from here on out, you guys skip a little bit ahead in the video because I'm just waiting for the water to, to, the water to boil. So I am going to go ahead and get some water real quick because I'm thirsty. Please feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to be showing the little kids and the 10 plus year olds how to make mac and cheese. This is, that's the purpose of this video. skip ahead here but unfortunately I have to wait for this to heat up and I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna end, end up editing this part out a few things to go over for you guys that are tapped into the kit you guys like the shirt you guys like the drip you like the drip and second off I did end up going to get a cut today you guys know I already got the fade on the sides got the the beard uh, trimmed a little bit, and I got, you know, I got the back as well. You guys can see the back. So I did end up getting a cut. We gotta wait for this to, to go because I'm really not trying for this video to be extremely long. I do hope you guys will stick stick with me. I told you guys at the beginning you could skip ahead to about maybe 12 minutes of the video. Ugh, that'll make it to where you guys can just see what I'm doing. There's no cuts in this video. I want to show you guys the full process on how to make the mac and cheese. So I'm going to have all my ingredients, all this stuff on the side to make it to where I can quickly access it if needed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a plate, a big, I'm actually going to get a bowl. This bowl right here, right there, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this and put it here. No need, no use of no use, it's just getting in the way. Hopefully, yeah, so that should be oh no 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 move it there. Now what else do I need here? Um I think that's it for now. So I just gotta wait for this to heat up. Guys, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm on, this isn't regular, uh, this isn't real, this isn't regular mac and cheese. This is Southern mac and cheese. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Oh, it doesn't look like we have, fudge, no, oh, I almost swear, fudge, fudge, not, not, fudge, fudge. That, that's what I was saying. I didn't, I didn't say the other word. So, I don't, ooh, it doesn't look like we have cheese, you guys. It does not look like we have cheese, but I found the perfect substitute. I found the perfect substitute. Actually, no, we're just gonna have to do without cheese. Ah, oh, that's, that's awful, man. Man, where is the cheese at? We got no cheese. All we have is Swiss cheese, man. So that really sucks right there. We do not have cheese. What? Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. Instead, I'm going to be you I'm gonna be making a new concoction. Instead of the you know the cheddar cheese, a little I'm gonna be using cheese sticks. For you kids at home, just use the, uh, the cheddar cheese as sprinkles. Do not do what I'm doing here. I am making myself a concoction. This is gonna be my dinner for tonight. This is day one of me being home alone, so I gotta get some dinner, you know? I'm, I'm using that. Gotta wait for this to hurry up a little bit, because I'm really, I'm really trying to get this video completed before 25 minutes. That is my goal, at least. So I am, I'm, I'm improvising here. That really sucks that I don't have cheese. I, 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 that's, that's really annoying right there. 
but there is nothing I can do. So I do got to wait. I'll show you guys inside of the pot. Right there. That's the inside of the pot. It is about three minutes away from boiling. So once that does happen, I'm going to end up showing you guys what to do. You guys can see the ingredients. I'm going to turn the camera that way so you can see me in the video. Need this to mix. Oh, 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 oh. You guys see, I'm a, I'm a chef. Like I'm, I'm a full grown chef. You guys gotta understand. I make, I do this for a living. I make food. I make food. This is really taking forever. I thought this would take like three minutes. So this video is gonna end up being about 40 minutes. I, I this is taking a long time. But I'm here to show you guys how to make mac and cheese. So you guys gotta sit here and listen to what I have to say. I just wish this wouldn't take so long. Come on, man. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. It is just about boiling, I think. All right, it's boiling, it's boiling. Let, let, me, let me show you guys real quick. Let me show you guys the pot again. Right, I think that's good. All right, so now I'm gonna dump them. What I'm going to do, the next step is I'm gonna open this, the, the box. It said seven to nine minutes. I'm gonna do nine minutes because uh, it's not 100%. I'm, it's just taking too long though for me. I, I, I don't want this video to be extremely long. Now this, what you do with this? The top here, you're gonna shake it. Oh shoot, it ripped open, it ripped open. Okay, that did not, that doesn't usually happen. This ended up ripping open here. But what I was trying to show you guys is that you do this because that gets all the dust to go to the bottom of the packet. Boom, 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 like that. Unfortunately for me, that I did not expect that rip to happen. So that really sucks right there. This is gonna be for after. Not, I'm not putting this in with the mac and cheese now. So I'm gonna set it aside there and I'm going to dump this mac, the, the, pep, the macaroni in here. I'm gonna dump it. You guys can clearly make, see, I made it to where you guys can see. Boom. I'm gonna put a timer. Okay. No, oh, this is the wrong. Man. All right. So I set the timer for nine minutes. Now I'm stirring the mac and cheese. I'm gonna keep the temperature on high. Now, usually what you do is one, you put it on high if you're trying to get the water to boil quicker. And then once you put the food in there, then you what you do is lower the temperature. Usually I do that, but because it, I, it's a little too early, I just I don't have patience because this video is getting extremely long now. So I'm just, I just decided to, oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Or maybe I will lower the temperature a little bit here. Just a little bit. It is getting, it is really hot. So I did it. What I ended up doing was put it from high to like mid high, basically. So I put it a little lower the temperature. Guys, I take this very seriously. You guys may think this is like one of my joke videos. Like I always like to joke around, but I, I take this extremely seriously. So you guys better understand that I'm not here to mess around. I'm not here to play games. I'm not even cussing because I, I'm making this a very, I'm making this, I'm trying to make this a very educational video. I even put on the, sh the shirt for the, for, I'm trying to ride the occasion here. So that's why I, I, I just put on the shirt. So for the video, because I'm trying to, I'm, you know, not here to play games here. Perhaps I could have done with just a little bit less water, but so you don't need, what, what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing it. Now for this, you don't need to mix it every every not every second of the nine minutes you could just put it down for about 30 seconds and then you can just keep picking it up i'm going to give us a little water because i am thirsty it is very hot outside it's about 100 it's about 95 100 degrees outside right now where i am currently at which is in the state of texas which is why i'm calling this southern mac and cheese It's got a notification. I'm 
I'm having a little argument in my comment section. Some people are arguing with me how LeBron isn't an overvalued player. And I'm trying to tell you guys, LeBron is an overvalued player. People like to put LeBron. This has nothing to do with the video, but I'm having a little argument in my comment section. So that's why, like, I'm, like a lot of people disagree with what I'm saying and I'm trying to defend myself. So you've got, that's the, the part where I was talking about uh, the under, how overvalued players are getting annoying and how undervalued players just don't get talked enough. And people are seem to have a big problem with that video. So I'm just in the comment section constantly arguing with people. So LeBron's behind Kobe and Michael. It's, it's not even close. It's stop, okay? If LeBron wins another championship, you could put him above Kobe. But he's never going to be above Jordan, and that's why I always call him overvalued because people love to try to put him over Jordan. I'm not one of those people, okay? Take it or leave it. I do not care. All right, so there are six minutes left here. I'm going to show you guys the inside of the pot one more time. This is the mac and cheese right there. You can pause the video if you want to see it more clear. You guys see the fire there? I'm going to make it to where you guys can see the fire. In me in the camera. That's the fire. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna mix it every now and then. I hate I hate the fact that this video is gonna be like 40 minutes. It's gonna be a long video, but unfortunately, there's nothing that much I can really do about that. I could make edits, but I'm not gonna do that because this is. I want to show you guys everything that's going on. I wanted to show you know. I, I'm here to teach you guys. I'm a chef. Uh, I'm Chef Jordan Game for sure. Which is why I'm trying to show you guys. I'm trying to show you guys how to make mac and southern mac and cheese. For the folks at home and for young kids that are going to be home alone or you know don't know how to cook. And this is one of the first things that they can learn how to cook. Let me keep doing this for a little longer. It's hot as hell in here. Jam. And no, hell is not a swear word. It's not a swear word. It's actually, it describes a place. But you, you kids don't need to know what it is. This is an educational, family-friendly, no cussing video. Family-friendly video. All right, so we're four minutes left here. Now, around two minutes, what you guys need to do is you need to taste test the macaroni. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So you, what you do basically is you take, here's, I'm gonna do it now actually, I'm gonna do it now. So I'm gonna end up moving the camera real quick. You guys can see me over here. I'm gonna remove a piece of macaroni right here. I'm gonna rinse it with water a little bit because it's too hot because it just came out of the pot. You guys can see it's with water. I'm gonna dump that water and I'm gonna taste test to see how hard or soft it is. Right, so it's still too hard. Which means it's not done yet. It's not cooked yet. So I'm gonna move you guys back here real quick. spoon I'm just gonna keep mixing it should be ready in like another two minutes it just wasn't it's just not ready yet unfortunately I'm trying to make this video before 30 minutes so I really don't want this video to be extremely long for one because I want my audience to actually watch some of my video part of my video I don't want them to just click on this for 10 seconds and then click off which is why I'm trying to make my video not extremely long here what I'm actually gonna do here I no 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 I'm not gonna do it I was thinking about putting a pinch of salt in, in the pot to mix with the water so it'll go into the macaroni a little bit, but I'm not going to do that simply because it's a little too late for that. So I showed you guys just now what I would do if I want to taste test the macaroni and do it safely without hurting yourselves. So hopefully you guys will take an accountability of that. I really want this to be done because this video is getting extremely long now. This is gonna be my dinner for tonight, and this is gonna be the last video that I'm doing today. Make sure to go check out my other shorts in my in the video I did today where I was reacting to the Mr. Beast video. 
I'm, I'm, I'm really getting, I'm, I'm not understanding why my videos aren't getting any views here. Come on, guys. It's not just my shorts now, right? You guys should be, my videos are even be, arguably better than my shorts, so. I'm just a little confused. So if you guys, now let me show you guys. The macaroni, when macaroni starts out very small, but now, look, it gets really big here. You guys can see. Look, it gets, it's, it's a lot bigger than it was before. And I'm pretty sure you guys can tell, I hope. So, I just wanted to show you guys. I thought for a second that I accidentally ended the recording. That would have sucked. Because then I would have to read, I would have to throw this video in the, in the trash, which would suck. All right, now I'm going to taste test it again. It's been about two and a half, three, oh, about three minutes since I last taste tested. I need a big piece of macaroni here. All right, that's good. I'm gonna taste test this real quick. I'm not gonna do, bring you guys over here this time because I already showed you guys how to do it. All right, it's done. It's done. Now, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm not gonna show you guys that part because you guys can just figure that out. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna screw this on tight to the pot right here yes. oh, what? now it can't, it can't escape now I'm gonna bring you guys over here real quick right, like that I'm gonna move this here I'm gonna move this out the way real quick working fast working fast working hard I'm gonna bring the pot right I'm gonna get these are to use the, you, the handle to put the, uh, those on the handle to protect your from yourself from burning your hands. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. Boom, I'm gonna bring the pot over here and I'm gonna dump the water out. Make sure to get all the water out of the pot as the steam is hitting my face here. But you guys, guys, you guys got to make sure to get the steam out of the pot here, and, that, and, and the steam and the water. There's still water coming out here. There's a lot of water here. And then you, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna put the pot on the counter. Do not do that. Do not do that because it'll burn the counter and leave a stain mark there. It'll, it'll, it'll burn the counter, so do not do that. I'm pretty sure all the water's gone now. Hold up, I'm gonna check to make sure. All right, all the water's gone. All the water's gone, so I'm gonna put this in the mic, in the, not the microwave, this bring you guys over here. I'm a hustler, y'all, I'm a hustler. Um, I'm going to get myself in the camera here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the cheese and this into the macaroni. That's the first step. Because I want the cheese to quickly melt here. And since I'm not using the cheese that I want to use, that is not evident. So throw those in here. Then I'm going to, I'm going to put it right on where it was. And then I'm going to get, where is this? All right, right here. Rip it open like this over the pot so you don't make a mess. I don't want you guys to get in trouble with your parents. I'm showing you everything. I'm showing y'all everything. I'm going to get it all around here. Then I'm going to get the milk. Shake the milk before you use it. Why I'm telling you guys this is the water and the milk in there will mix to make it, you know, not a disproportional. Then I'm going to pour the milk. Not too much, but not too little. Okay, this isn't a good sign. My cheese is not melting that much. So that really sucks right there. That I just couldn't have the right cheese for this. Now I'm going to grab the spoon and I'm going to start mixing. The cheese really isn't melting here. That's really concerning. Cheese is not melting. I don't know how that's possible. I, th I really thought it would melt. So 
that's gonna suck right there. That, I, I thought that would be a per perfect substitute for this, but it's not really going according to plan. I, I might should have like, like cut it a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna get that. Mix, in it. Mix it with a little bit of force, not too much force, but not too little force either. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, oh, I swear. All right, not a family friendly video. Whatever, I don't care. I'm pretty sure you guys can handle a little swearing. A little salt. Whatever. Parents, if you have, if, if you have a kid, ah, that's enough salt. But parents, if you if, if your kids happen to see this video, shit means a good thing. Tell them it is, it, do not, tell them it's a no-no word and not to say, I'm not redoing this video, I'm sorry. This is for kids, but they can hear one swear word, okay? Oh, this, this cheese really is not melting here. That's really bad. Like this, this cheese is not melting at all. I really don't know why that is. Right? So this is what it looks like right now. See the cheese? You guys see the cheese? It's not melting at all. Like at all. That's a problem. I might end up, what I might end up doing is I might just take the cheese out and throw it away. If it does, it's not gonna melt. It's not melting at all. Right, now I'm gonna throw in a little bit of butter. A little bit of salted butter. Not the whole thing, of course. You guys gotta be crazy. I'm taking a small block of butter. I'm gonna grab a knife, butter knife. This is called a butter knife, okay? That's what I'm using it for. This is the amount of butter that I'm gonna put into my mac and cheese. Mix that. I'm gonna just end up taking the cheese sticks out. I really thought that that would melt, but for some reason it's really not melting here, which is really unfortunate. So I'm not really gonna have cheese in my macaroni. I'm not gonna have uh, cheese in here, but what can I do? It's just not melting. I don't know why that is. All right, I'm gonna throw this mac, I'm gonna throw this cheese out of here. Do not do what I did here, guys. This is not, uh, it did not, it really didn't melt. Don't do what I did here, guys. Ugh, that sucks. That's the butter. All right, get this out real quick. I don't know why, I, that shocks me, it's not melting. All right, so no cheese, but basically if you want cheese in your macaroni and cheese, you just put it, sprinkle a bunch of uh, cheddar cheese in there and that should, uh, that'll work, that'll 100% melt. Right, so now the butter that I put in earlier is melting. Last step before I end the video, where's my, now I'm gonna put in some garlic powder. So I make sure I don't put too much. Guys, you wanna grab a spoon over the mac and cheese, you're going to put a tablespoon worth of garlic powder. Do not try to put it in directly. That is no-no because you're accidentally going to put too much in. So you want to do it like this. Oh, yeah. So I did, I did, I did not show you guys. It's garlic powder. A little bit of that. Right, this is the amount that you want right here. I clearly make it to where you guys can see. Oh, a little bit came out, not, that's my fault. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more. So I accidentally sweared, so I'm, that sucks, but you guys can handle one swear word. Uh, I, this isn't gonna, I'm, uh, uh, originally I was planning for this to be a family friendly video, but it's not because I, I just can't avoid saying at least one swear word apparently. I really do apologize for the kids right there. You, you guys are gonna eventually learn how to say these words anyway, so it doesn't matter. Got some onion powder right here. I'm gonna put, again, to make it to where you guys can see, that's onion powder. I'm gonna put about, about the same amount of onion powder as I did garlic powder, but a little bit yeah, less onion powder. Right, that's the amount I'm gonna put in there. It's not as much, but it'll do. Right, put that in there, mix. 
hopefully this is good. I'm a chef, so I mean, hey, it should be good. Got the macaroni on the sides. Guys, make sure the macaroni is off the side of the pot because it, it will stick. So you have to make it to where it doesn't do that. Now mix it ferociously after you do this part. The onion and, and garlic powder is optional. You guys don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that to make my, my mac and cheese taste a little bit better. Do not feel bad if you can't or don't, won't, don't want to do that. No, it, that's, just, that's just what I want to do for this, okay? All right, so it looks like I just finished the mac and cheese. Do this after you get the macaroni off of it. Uh, one did fly out there. Now I'm going to be taste testing it for the camera, okay? So here's the finished product. Hopefully that's good enough for you guys to see. Now I'm going to taste test it with this spoon right here. Okay, I get the spoon. Mmm. That's good. That's very good. 10 out of 10. In fact, 11 out of 10. Best mac and cheese in the whole world. You need to listen to what I'm telling you guys. That is why you take my advice. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is something that even Gordon Ramsay would be shocked. Gordon Ramsay, if you guys don't know who that is, he's a celebrity that, cook, that taste tests food and, and cooks. Best mac and cheese ever. Mmm. That's this slams hard. And and obviously I have a lot of mess here too that I'm gonna end up cleaning off off screen. Off camera. But guys. That is Southern Mac and Cheese. I'll see you guys in the next video.